Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Madman Experience. This is Fear Extraction Point, the sequel to the original game. And I really consider this and um, the other expansion and the first game to be very, very fucking good. Um, they are some of the best <clears throat> um, games that I've played in the shooter genre. So let's not waste any time. Let's get a new game going. We had to mess with resolution in settings files and a bunch of other nonsense in order to get this to work at 4K, but uh, you know what? I've done that before. I'm a veteran of... I'm an epic hacker. If you don't remember, this is how the last game ended. WB Games is going to remind us. We are being saved by our angelic helicopter pals. We still don't know the extent of the damage. We haven't been able to get through to anyone. I mean, the damage looks pretty down. extensive, man. I mean, I think you could just make an assumption that it's what pretty about, bad. What happened to you? What was that sound? Hello. Looks <laughs> 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 so like she's covered in slime for some reason. I guess. Paxton's monologue really does rival Hamlet for one of the most poignant and poetic monologues in all of video game writing. It really is brilliant in its own way. Alright guys, so we're going to make a couple videos tonight about this, uh, and then i got to get to bed, but we're going to have some fun. We're going to start the journey off here. Start it off with a bang, as it were. Ooh. At first, I could only see shapes and colors, and then I noticed the bar stool, and I came back to reality. Small I was like, yes, I do need a drink. Alcohol is necessary for me to function. It's just my lot in life. That's not good. Do we not have a flashlight? What the... What the hell, Lois? The, the controls are all messed up. I didn't, even, I didn't even set them up. Do we not have a flashlight, for real? Are you kidding? Okay, that's just... Yeah. Uh, slow-mo is going to be this. Uh, aim zoom is going to be this. Yes. Reload is going to be this. Use is going to be... Yeah, I know. Lean right. Yeah, why would I ever use leaning in these games? That's such nonsense. Um, throw grenade is going to be that. Melee is going to be this. Okay, good. Uh, inventory, bada bing, bada boom, last weapon, who cares? Uh, select grenade. Oh fuck, there's turrets in this. Shit, I forgot about that. Um, oh, use med kit is gonna be this. Yeah, I know. Uh, holster weapon, we won't need to, we won't need to be doing that. We'll have our weapon out the whole damn time. We'll have our weapon out the whole damn time. In Sin City, you gotta have your weapon out always. Uh, crouch, we're gonna make this. Okay, is that gonna be. Is that gonna be it? We're gonna be good. Um, um, I don't really know if we have a run key. Is there a run key in this options menu? Markers, we're not a plebe, so we won't need those. Team speak, we don't like people, so I won't need to use any of those either. Um, okay, I guess... I mean, walk is going to be... Toggle walk. Let's have toggle walk be shift. Okay, that should take care of things here. Okay, good. Is it actually working? Great. It's working, guys. For once, something technological is actually working for me. That is a is an amazing thing. Now, there should be a... Also, the mouse look right now is fucking nuts. Let's go ahead and turn that the fuck down here. Let's turn the smoothing up a bit. That's slightly better. Okay. Oh, yes. Coley Coxie Mat Mattresses. The IKEA Chad brand. So I haven't played this game in quite a while. Um, I hadn't played the original in a while um, before I did the last series of videos, but this one, I gotta say, 
the expansions to this kind of beat the original in, in certain ways. Um, there's more to do, there's more guns. Generally speaking, it's just a better, it's a better time. Uh, they really went ham with the, uh, the engine that they had before they made Fear 2. They, uh, being the developers, of course, did a really fucking good job of, um, kind of milking what they had in its current state. Uh, the, the, the horror sort of hallucinations and cutscenes in this are really fucked up. Some of them are very well done. Um, again, considering what they had at the time, they did a really good job with it. So shout out to the Fear developers, as if they're ever going to see this. Um, but you know, shout out anyway. You made it to the roof. Yes, I did. Okay, so what's happened is, because we killed Fettel, our, our epic bro, uh, all the soldiers, all the clones, have just shut down. The NPCs, the vampire thralls, they have no master. So now what's happened is they've just kind of entered into like some kind of stasis mode. Um, which makes it really funny because in the first few... Whoa. First few parts of this game, you can basically just walk up to them and, and beat them up. You can walk up to them and... Um, I'm just going to fuck with the sound for a bit here. Um, you can basically just walk up to them and, and hit them with your gun. Which is kind of funny. Uh, and they will just straight up die. <laughs> I mean, they, they just they will stand there and let you kill them. Um, because they have no controller, they have no, um, nobody to follow. And the unfortunate truth is you can make yourself into something like that. You can make yourself into a person who's so dependent on what you're following that you have no sense of self or individuality. Um, you can, you can simp for a job or a boss or a parent or anybody, and, uh, it will, eventually if you do it badly enough, if you're, if you're unaware that you're doing it, you'll deprive yourself of your sense of self. And uh, you'll be in a worse hell than this game portrays, let me tell you. Uh, so don't do that, uh, whatever it takes. You know, be, be independent despite the, the risks and the fears you may have uh, associated with that independence. It's far better to do that than to become one of these guys I'm about to pistol whip to death. So let's get out here and do some easy killing. So we have... Does this guy have a gun for us? He's dormant. When Fettel was killed, the replicas deactivated. Thank you for the exposition, guys. I appreciate it. Now, this church part, I have to say, it's it's pretty scary right off the bat. Whoa. It's 9-11-2. Escape to fear. Let's go ahead and get... Uh, let's go and get our controls set up here so that we can... Where is drop weapon? BJ. <laughs> BJ. There we go. We gotta be able to do the weapon trick. We gotta be able to do that. No, dude, it was a civilian plane, you dumbass. What do you think it was? These guys are thick as bricks, man. Alright. Let's quickly make sure we have epic ammunition. 500. Okay, we're already full. Perfect. See, look at these guys. They're just chilling. They're just vibing. I'm gonna go ahead and harsh their vibe for a minute here. Sorry, bros. God, look at the lighting over there. He's got a snake coming out of his chest. He's got a worm that's going right up into his back of his head right there, upper part of his spine. Interesting. There's been a radioactive element to the origin explosion and the city was evacuated. Cities don't empty this quick. Now, do we have any candies in here? Oh, we do. Holy shit, I don't think I've ever gotten this. There's a fucking shotgun here. How did I not get that? I didn't know that was even a thing. I don't even think straight up that I've ever gone this direction and looked at that. This is why I replay this shit, because I always find stuff I've missed. Alright, so there's a little alleyway here. Let's see if there's anything back here for us. Hmm. Nothing but some garbage and a 40. I'll demolish that shit. Okay. Let's get walk turned off, because that's going to get old very fast. So, these guys have dropped everything of value for us. And, I don't think there's a pistol hidden anywhere. I'd love to get dual pistols right off the bat, but I don't think they give you that. Oh, maybe they do. Oh, guys, it's a Pfizer jab. Let's grab it. Woo! There it is. Now we're... Now the ghosts won't be able to fuck with us. Perfect. They're in a lot of trouble. 
Ghosts don't create temporal and spatial anomalies. How do you know that, you dumb bitch? Of course they're going to create temporal anomalies. They're ghosts. They're, they are an anomaly in and of themselves. What are you talking about? What are you, a ghost expert? I mean, I know our unit is called fear here, but for real, though, like, what the hell's wrong with you? Of course they create anomalies. They are anomalies. Ah, oh, yes, the AI-generated angel picture. And the AI-generated other angel picture. This game was very ahead of its time. Woo! Can you play us a, a serenade on the pipe organ, Fettel, or do, were you not educated in music? You don't strike me as a particularly musical guy. I know it doesn't make sense. Not much does anymore. You killed me. I didn't like that. Yeah, well, I don't like that you're still alive, you fucker. The other guys will wake up eventually if you let them, so you gotta just kill everybody in here. Check it out. You haven't seen what's already happened? Man, they take up, like, positions and stuff. The AI in this is so fucking satisfying to fight. Okay, now I think there's guys up top in the bleachers. Oh, shit. We have no slow-mo since the beginning of the game, of course. The helicopter crash must have injured us enough to reduce our slow-mo. Woo, something's happening. <gasps> oh, shit, guys. Oma's pissed. She's taking the church apart one brick at a time. She's teleporting them up to the the alien evaluation room where they can be scientifically analyzed for psychic remnants. Whatever the fuck. Alright. Let's go up and deliver our sermon, guys. I think I feel like this is an opportunity we're not gonna get uh, in a long time. So we better take advantage of this. <clears throat> Thank you, brothers and sisters, for gathering me here. All of the religions on Earth are just systems of metaphor to disguise or hide the fact that you are actually the aliens that are often talked about in mythology and science fiction. If you're a conscious human being, which I hope all of you here are, then you are an alien, and you are meant to inhabit this human body for a purpose. And that purpose is probably to ter terraform the Earth for some kind of um, overlord. And if you choose to oppose that purpose, you will be tortured in ways that you can't possibly imagine. But if you can take the quirks and flaws of your host body and convince those quirks and flaws to work for the overarching entities that control our entire existence and presence here, then you will have a okay life. Um, you don't have to do anything specific, just do something useful. That's really the only restriction. Uh, the bar is pretty low these days, so if you're not religious, you're not going to go to hell, but you do have to have a vocation, a craft, a habit, a hobby, something that gives you um, motivation to do something, to manipulate matter in some way. That's the bare minimum. Basically, all religious texts can be boiled down to this speech that I'm trying to give you. And uh, if you listen to this, you're fine. You don't have to read or listen to anything else ever. Uh, I've just condensed all of this for you. I've just condensed thousands of years of disparate texts into one rant, uh, which is not easy for me and not a common thing that I'm able to do. But in this context, you know, in this setting, I don't know, I just it's something about the stained glass, uh, psyop, mind-altering uh, color theory portals here that are, that are motivating me to say this. So uh, there it is. There's the diatribe. You can all go home and, you know, eat some pancakes. You don't have to stay here for four hours listening to random... Uh, advice, you can probably intuit most of what you need to do just naturally on your own. You don't really need my advice. So that's it. I'm out. Mic drop. There it goes. So, all right. Very cool. Um, let's check the back area to make sure there's no altar boys tied up back here. Because that would be pretty heinous and we would want to free them from their bondage pretty, pretty quickly. Don't think we can go back here, though. No, we can't. Okay. All right. This part fucking sucks. I actually hate this part. This this makes me genuinely uncomfortable. This basement area. God damn it. <sighs> okay. Fuck, I hate this. Try to get through this as quickly as we can. Okay, can't go 
can't get over that. We've got the Epstein files here. Now these crates do have useful shit in them. They are fan fucking tastic. Is there no auto pickup option? What the fuck's going on here? How is there no auto pickup? Are you kidding me? This game has resolution problems that the original doesn't. And then the developers had the audacity to be like, yeah, let's just remove the auto pickup op option. They have to pick things up manually. Either that or just the, the hit detection for the objects is off. Something, something's off. I hate to be critical, you know, but if I'm being honest, I gotta be critical. Sometimes when you, when you have an impulse to be honest, you gotta be critical about shit. If, you're, if your honest opinion is that something sucks, you know, be constructive. Like, do express that opinion, but don't just say, this is bad. Say, this is bad because here's why. Like, being a critic is a kind of a inherently parasitic thing. Um, oh shit, they're getting killed by the ghosts already. Um, anyway, my point is, if, if you have a critical impulse to, to, you know, look at something in your life or in, in your environment and go, this, this is just bad, explain why, but don't just do that. You have to go further than that. You have to say, here's a few ideas I have to improve it. Even if it's just, take this out, or increase this or that. Like, that's not hard to think about. You don't have to be super creative to think about that. But be constructive, man. Like, like if you're going to criticize something... Come up with something better. Don't just criticize something with no, no better ideas in your, in your repertoire of, of what you're offering to whoever's listening to you. Metastasis, Jesus Christ, that's gross. Whoa, his helmet! Oh, yo. Okay. They expect you to have played the first game, so the standards for combat are pretty fucking high in this. Goes without saying. Okay, let's go ahead and work our way through the blood mist here. Yeah, fuck off, dude. Man, they straight up break down the wall. I didn't realize they did that. Damn. Again, they do shit in this game they don't do in the first one. Fuck, I gotta up my game here. Literally and figuratively, am I right? Alright, let's pick this up. Uh, fuck. Of course I want to pick up the pistol ammo. What are you what are you talking about? Okay. So we got the shitty G2A2 gun, but that's full. Are there any more shotguns in here? No. All right. All right, we're going to John Woo the rest of this little opening section here. What is this got in it? Nothing. Expansion does not fuck around when it comes to zerging you with enemies at the very beginning. I'd forgotten about how uh, no holds barred this shit was. Okay. Is that all of you? Are we good? Alright, good. Good, good, good. I shot that picture not because it was angelic, but because it was AI generated. These things are why I hate this part of the game. These little fucking transparent red ghostly fucks. They will kill you before you even know they've spawned. They are very, uh, very annoying. Can we move this barrel and... 
push it down the stairs. Can we do that? I never actually tried this before. Come on, get down there. Are we meant to do this? Have I missed this? Come on. Yeah, see, they're fucking with the ghosts. Bad idea. Don't fuck with a ghost. They'll do worse than kill you. A real person will just kill you. A ghost, they'll do something worse. And if they're a smart ghost, they know how to avoid being exercised. You know, they understand what they are. Get the fuck down there, you fucker. I'm really curious now, does this, does this barrel actually provide any utility? Never actually tried this. I doubt it does, but that's kind of funny we got it this far. I don't want to waste a lot of time, but, uh... Woo! Oh, we got an, we got a, we got a, a vintage lamp! That's a shame that's rotting away in here, rusting away. Could be sold on Facebook Marketplace for twenty dollars! Did that guy drop that? It's not actually set up as a mine? What the fuck? Can I pick this up? Oh, I can. God damn. Okay. Alright. Didn't realize they'd be giving us mines right away. I mean, it makes sense. But... Predict there will be more soldiers shortly. Whoa, my prediction was true. I must be an oracle or some kind of Nostradamus. My god, how did I know that? It was simply that I had previous experience with these events, and I concealed that previous experience from you. Yeah, you're closing, alright? Closing out your life. Dumb fuck. Hmm. Oh, fuck you. Where are you? Where the fuck are you, man? God damn. How many more of these fucks up? They're coming from back behind us. I don't remember this. Unless I went the wrong way, but... I could have sworn we had to go this way. Did they open up a gate or something? Were they trying to steal that candelabra thing to sell it on Facebook Marketplace? That's probably what they were trying to do. They were probably trying to do that. If I had to guess. Nope, I guessed wrong. Also, does this barrel explode? No. I had to, I had to test. I had to try it. Now we can see here. Alright, let's head back up here and see what we can see here, shall we? Mm, yes. Cobwebs and cobblestones. Bricks and dicks. Do any of these cleaning products explode? No. Man, they're really depri depriving us of fun here. point. Just want to make sure there's nothing else in here. No. Okay. Let's move forward, shall we? Through the wine barrels of the ancients. 
human blood is an ingredient added to a lot of different wines. There's a little red pill for you. Hmm, do you dare to swallow it? Do you dare to believe me? Am I bullshitting? Am I insane? You don't know, do you? Ooh. You're experiencing fear, F-E-A-R. All right, now. What did you say, get up or get out? You said something. You fuckers. These things are so goddamn annoying. Oh, God. Her little golems are going towards the light of her... something. I'm not gonna say what it is. Look at them, scampering around like little imps. They're so happy. Whoa! Okay, I don't think we can go through here, can we? Oh, maybe we can. Is there any loot in here? Any epic loot drops? No, there's nothing. Okay, well, let's head through the side passage here. We gotta take the left path, guys. Oh, this is the kitchen where I make my Red Bull cocktails. You can see them all there. Very epic. Okay, we got the priest's library full of creepy books about various things. And... I guess we just gotta go through here, I guess. No time to do a reading session. No madman reading session this time, guys. Nothing, nothing like that. Um, it's a shame, but, you know. I can't squeeze blood from a stone. Ooh. Okay, let's get rid of the shotgun for a sec. Oh, shit. The fuck's our shotgun? Do we only have two? Where the fuck did the shotgun go? Did we get rid of it by mistake? I must have forgotten to pick it up. I'm a dumbass. Okay, well, whatever. We have enough weapons, we're fine. All right. So two more shotguns against the wall there. This part sucks because there's rooms that these guys hide in and you don't know they're there. And they're very good at using the room geometry to fuck with you. So we're going to be extra cautious here. The status is dead, man. If you haven't figured that out. You're uh, behind the curve, my friend. You guys should have had a few of these 40s. Would have reduced your inhibitions enough that it might have improved your aim. But uh, you're going to hesitate and you're going to die. Squad chicken. Get our shotgun pumped up here in more than one way. Grab this fucking thing. Okay, now we're ready to rock. to escape through that window, but uh, pretty sure we can't, so 
Eliminates one option for progression. Whoa, holy shit. And these vases, they're the real villains. Get thee gone. Shit, more pistols, hell yeah. It's another thing I think I missed in a bunch of playthroughs of this. I never explored this little office room. I missed a bunch of shit. Now with the exit's been blocked off to us, that's a shame. So we'll have to do things the cool way. We'll get out of the church section, then I think we'll... uh We'll go ahead and end the video there. Can I close this? What's the certif certificate say? Underwriters Laboratories. Certify that information demo A3 has appointed Underwriters Laboratories to be a Demico qualified engineer. Demico is probably some anime reference or something cringy like that, if I had to guess. It's definitely not a thing from this game, it's something else. You're about to have more than three down, my friend. Sorry to say, that's how it has to be. Whoa, what the fuck? Bro. Can't forgive you for that, man, I'm sorry. You touched me in an inappropriate way. Whether your intentions were good or not, I get to oppose you for the rest of my life in whatever way I can. It's just how it has to be. Doesn't matter if you're a friend, a father, a mother, a brother, a sister, whatever. I, I can't, uh, can't you let, can't let you go unpunished for that. Sorry. That's how it has to be. It's either that or insanity. Those are my two options. Do you blame me for picking sanity? I don't think anybody would. Whoa, let's fucking deal with you. Are there guys back there? I can't fucking tell. Shit. So many of these fucks in this area, man. I'm gonna be out of. I'm already out of med kits. God damn it. Jesus. Eating through med kits like they're fucking nothing. This is not good. It's not up to my usual standard of playing this game. Usually I'm an epic Chad. I don't need make it ever. God damn it. Fuck, man. This is not going well. <clears throat> it's a bunch of guys behind that door. I know that. Fuck. This guy behind here too, I'm sure. Uh, did we get him? Maybe we did, maybe we did. Man, our, our health is not looking good right now. I don't like this. This game can easily take that amount of health away from you instantly. So this is this might be a bad... This might be a bad place to save, but we're going to do it anyway. Okay. I got a bit of respite. The music is telling us we're going to be all right for a bit. God, these church lobbies all have the same smell. It's like... 
rotting old person's skin mixed with cheap cleaning chemicals. It's like a, it's like a, it's like the smell of hell. It's a really nasty thing. Oh, hello. Hey, bro. What's up? Are you gonna say anything? Pussy. Alright, fine. Uh, ba -ba We're not gonna go through there. Uh oh. I said say cutscene id cubby. Don't let them hurt you. I mean. Mm, here we are, brother. I seem to be a little worse for the wear. And you. You are prey. I'm not playing prey, I'm playing fear. Fear is the game we're playing. Shit. God damn it, how the fuck do we get out of here? Okay, I'm just dead. That's cool. Great. Yeah, using medkits when my health is low, it only applies when I actually have the medkits, so... Oy. This might be... this might be not doable, guys. I mean, maybe this is a good place to end the video. If we can't, um... If we can't get the cutscene to... to not kill us, then, uh, we've just been too bad at the game, and, you know, now we have, we have enough, we don't have enough med kits to do anything. Mm. Here we are, brother. I seem to be a little worse for the wear. And you, you are prey. I can't remember what we're supposed to do here, to be perfectly honest. There's a place in this area where we have to... We have to hang out so the fire doesn't damage us, but... Something else must have killed us. God damn, I'm just wasting ammo now. Oh shit, okay, the door fell off. Okay, good. Alright, we like that. <laughs> and there we have it, ladies and gentlemen. We are out of the church. And that is the end of this video. So we're gonna go ahead and save there. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. I do appreciate it. Hope you're doing well. And, uh, yeah. Uh, like and subscribe. Like the videos. I do have to say all that shit, because it's true. It helps me. Um... But for real, though, uh, I hope you're doing well. And, uh, you know, take your vitamins, hug your loved ones, drink some water, that sort of thing. Those are all real pieces of advice. They all will make your life slightly better. With that, I will say, I'll see you in the next video. Until then, peace out.